Welcome back, folks. This is the final round in our Bangor Jill Conference Creator Invitational. This match will be between Different Fight and RCX Midwest Chief from Reality CX. With that being said, let's move on to Game 1 of Different Fight versus RCX Midwest Chief. Looks like Midwest Chief is going first. Okay, decent hand on both sides. Stand up, the Vanguard. Okay, Midwest Chief starting off with Dojo. Oh, Andy, that is activating Dojo first turn. He's calling a heal trigger to fix his hand, hopefully. But ooh, that must hurt having a heal trigger in his opening hand. Different fights going for the Blasted Javelin play to get his Blasted Dark. Unlike our previous matches, this is not a World Power Limited match that involves World Power Limited, so Different Fight does not have to worry about giving Midwest Chief any damage. Midwest Chief going for the Bellicosity Dragon. Is he gonna activate Conroe? Yes, he is. It was cheap going for the Sentinel. Classic move with Conroe. And then moving straight into battle. Oh, the draw trigger is nice. Although he did lose a Draconic Overlord DN. But he does get to counter charge. And different fights just lost a heal trigger. Both sides are out one heal trigger each. Actually, oh, it's a different fight out of out two heal triggers. Right, going for the main. What is here? This card for her ability. Tough choices all around. Oh, and he just and he decided to go for the Rugo. And he drew into a draw trigger. Mm. And just like me was cheap, different fighter has used a card that when it hits their opponent's vanguard, they get to counter charge. Oh, Blaster Dark needed a trigger to hit, but unfortunately he did not get it. Forcing him to end his turn with only doing one damage. And there was cheap goes for Dragonic Overlord Regular. Maybe he's saving the uh Draconic Overlord the end for next turn so they hit that 13k body on Tejas and Bellicosity. Seems like he's going swinging away right now. Will we get a trigger? Nope. Ooh, no triggers for this attack. Different fight going into Phantom Blaster Dragon and a second domain. What will we draw this time? Oh, another draw trigger. You hate to see it. Different fight going for the offensive now. Will he get a trigger during his Vanguard attack? 
Oh. He did. He got a draw trigger, but just like it was cheap, he also lost a copy of his cross ride. Stand and drop. Let's keep going forward, the run overload the end with a 13k body. It's gonna make hitting his Vanguard much more difficult for a different fight. But the question now is does Midwest Chief have the second copy of Drenkana over the end of Persona Blast to restand? If it did not, then oh, good top deck for different fights with Phantom Blaster Overlord. And getting another Namade. Hopefully, he doesn't get another draw trigger from this Namade skill. Oh, uh, spoke too soon. A third draw trigger from the main. Just gotta be careful with your mains, folks. Don't want to draw into a draw trigger, but at the same time, you know, cool. that's the luck of the draw. No pun intended. Oh, interesting move. On the Charon and then moving the main back. I guess he's trying to. Getting an extra hit on the Vanguard, I suppose? Don't feel like Karmus. Yes, he definitely is trying to go for an extra swing at the Vanguard. But it would have been a little disastrous if uh, Midwest Chief had gotten a damage trigger. But he didn't. However, he did, does get that heal trigger. That kind of cancels it out in the end. Oh, and it was she's calling a Tejas. Interesting move. Probably got, he's got to be aiming for that in the main, so that different fight can use it next turn as an interceptor. Oh, another heal trigger that does not go off. Oh. And he is definitely going for that in the main. Now, this fight is in a peculiar situation, being down another interceptor that I can't use this turn. Or next turn. He's gotta go for a. a oh, and he is! Choosing to retire his bat, bat car in exchange for the Bellicosity Dragon. Now he's free to use cool. two great twos in the front row for more optimal balance between attacking and defending. Oh, he's actually ca calling the Phantom Blaster Dragon? Oh, he is! Maybe trying to go... Maybe trying to save his uh, interceptors. For later on in the game. And she gets another draw trigger. Will a different fight be able to hit him for a 6 damage? Does get that draw trigger. But unfortunately, Chief had that Bari that he searched for early on in the game. Okay, different fight is at 4 damage, but does Chief have the uh, 
second copy of the Rock Overlord the end, putting the trigger on it, we might actually have it. He's gonna do it though. And he is going for the Persona Blast to restand Dragonic Overlord the end. But then if it does have many, many perfect guards, so it'll make it a little difficult for him to hit. Is that his fourth heal trigger? I believe so. Different fight responding with his own Sentinel. Forcing Chief to attack the rearguard Phantom Blaster Dragon. As you can see, Chief is out of all four of his heal triggers, and Jitsuke still has one. Getting a Charon, nice, a free booster. Is he gonna call a Masquerade right now, or is he gonna try to retire one of Chief's rear guards? No, nope, he's going straight for the Masquerade. But he's retiring the bad car anyway. Goodbye, Burning Horn Dragon. Cool. Going to Charm? I can just barely poke the end right there. And no trigger, meaning both Masquerade and Phantom Blaster Overlord can hit it. And a second Sentinel from Chief. Does he have a third one? He does not. Unfortunately, he does not have a heal trigger. That means the first game of this fight goes to a different fight. Okay, folks, it's time for game two of different fight versus RCX Chief Midwest Chief. Currently, the score is one zero in different fights advantage. Can Midwest Chief make a comeback. It's time different fights going first. Stand up, the Vanguard. Stand up and Zoro. Run. Skill Hatsu. You know, it's funny that uh, Different Fight has been getting his right chain off for this game so far, 2 for 2. But you know, the first game, FGC Neo wasn't able to get it. But he won the end, so it's okay. Okay. Different fight going for the Blaster Dark. And going for the main. Do you think I can have the draw trigger this time? Let's hope not. There it is. The Sentinel followed by a draw trigger. Oh, bold move, discarding a Phantom Blaster Overlord to fetch out his Phantom Blaster Dragon. The crossfire itself is already decent enough, the Persona Blast is just a bonus, I suppose. Okay, we see Chief going for the Bella Coffee again. Is he gonna go for another Conroe play? Fetching out the Bari again. Another classic Conroe move. Oh, Tejas.
Is Nilistic a chance it? Looks like he is. And he does get the draw trigger, which means. Yes, he is. He's gonna go for the hit and counter charge. And that Teja still has 15k power, but that's not gonna matter because this fight just got a heal trigger. But on the bright side, because Teja is in front of that uh, last javelin, he can still attack that river. Okay. Going for the main again. And 5 for 5, he draws a draw trigger. But luckily, this time's a good one because now he can use the Persona Blast of Phantom Blaster Overlord. Now again, I'm not sure if I said it early, I'm pretty sure I did, but you know, I can't really appreciate it too much. You just gotta love Phantom Blast of Dragon's attack animation. Okay, interesting move. The Vanguard attacking the rear guard, getting a double heal trigger. Alright, interesting. There it is, a cross ride again from different fight. Different fight, all the offensive now, but it has no interceptors. Which means next turn, Chief can go straight for face. Plus he's behind on damage. Well now one to two. Curious to see how uh, different fights intend to fight against Midwest Chief now, even knowing he has a bar in his hand. Chief does go into the Dragon Controller at the end, but not enough counter blasts to use his Persona Blast. So he just has to settle for a 13k body. He does have a Silent Man in the back row, which means he can retire one of different fights' grade 1 rear guards. And he's going to use Heat Nail Salamander skill to retire the Charon. Berserk Dragon hitting the bad car, so now the different fights gotta have a little bit of a difficult time. Oh, never mind. He drew into a heal trigger, but he did get the bad car. Bad half car? Choosing not was he choosing to use the main? Get some advantage in there if he gets it. Oh, and he's discarding his Phantom Blaster Overlord. Got two cards. And six for six now. The main into a draw trigger.
リアガードにアタックヴァンガードにアタックファーストゲットドロートリドセカンドチェックコインインチューダッバッハイドカーズスタンドドロー Midwest Chief does have the counter blasts now. But I do not think he has the Overlord the end in his hand right now. Luckily for Chief, he's still ahead on damage. But his field is looking a little. Bit on the weak side when it comes to power. Oh, Dr. Tater, pretty nice. You can use the Dr. Tater skill to Soul Blast 3 to give front row rear guards plus 5,000 power for this turn. But whether or not it's a good move on his part right now, with a 13k body Draconic Overlord at the end staring him down, probably not the best move right now. Oh, we put with the rear guard first for the counter charge. And now he does need a trigger to hit Dragon over the end. Which he does get. Okay, the advantage now is in favor of a different fight. But both players do have three sentinels in their hands, so they're gonna have a hard time uh, breaking through each other's defenses. Yeah, when it comes to having multiple sentinels in hand, it just becomes a battle of attrition. Like, who has more resources to swing at their opponent with? Cool. And with the rear card overlord, it might be uh, chief if Devon Fight chooses to let that uh, Dragon Overlord live. He's got a lucky heal trigger from Chief, pushing up that Dragon Overlord. And a draw trigger. And can the, oh, and he can use it. Is he a dude? He did. Persona Blast to re-stand the Dragonic Overlord the end. And for bonus attack. And into a heal trigger. Unfortunately, that this is not going off. Different player showing off a Sentinel. Chief going for a second attack, but another Sentinel is being played by different fight. Okay, what would Chief do now? He's running out. He doesn't have. He only has one interceptor left. He has to play it. Otherwise, he has to bank on a heal trick, which I don't think he has anymore, actually. Cold. Just think I gotta retire the Bellicosity, I think, or the Dragon Overlord. Oh, I'm thinking a little bit of a head. Getting rid of that Overlord now may benefit him if he survives this the next turn. That way he can't that way Chief can't use Dragon Overlord to retire both of his rear guards in the front row. While still getting, while still being able to attack his Phantom Blaster Overlord. Okay. Now it's back to Midwest Chief. 
Can he nail this turn? Calling the bullet cost dragon, and he will retire different fights interceptor. And with only one sentinel on hand, he's gonna block one attack. Oh, and he's calling both of his sentinel his baris. He's playing all on the line now. What different fight get a heal trigger? And he does not! Looks like we are indeed going into game 3 of this exciting match. Okay, folks, we are moving on to game 3 of Different Fight versus Midwest Chief. This is the final game in our preliminaries. So let's hope it's a good one. And it looks like different fight is going on, going first this game. Hmm, both players have a pretty interesting hand they can go with. Oof. This different fight is more or less set up, but unfortunately drawing two heal triggers at the mulligan, that's gotta hurt. Meanwhile, Chief is also pretty in a pretty good state right now. So yeah, I'll say this is about e an even start. And Chief getting that Draconic Overlord at the end. Never mind, folks. This could look a little bad for different fight. Hey, here it is now. Blaster Dark. The main again. Oh, and this is not a draw trigger. That's actually got to be the biggest surprise of the entire match so far. Good move. Putting the main in the back row so you can save it for next. So you can use that as an interceptor for Midwest Chiefs, Midwest Chiefs uh, next, next turn. Next, next turn? Oh, moving it back up. Going for a more defensive strategy now, I see. Damage to get cheap gaining a heal trigger off. And he's indeed going for the cost of dragon. Is he go for Barry again? Or is he gonna hold off for now? He there does have already have two bars in hand, so it might be a little greedy, especially since he needs to find some way to break through two interceptors right now. Oh, he chose not to, just going straight for an attack on the the cursed lancer. Now, if only different fight had one more damage, he could have sniped off that Conroe Chief has in the back of his field. You know, it is what it is. What it is. Sometimes you get it, sometimes you don't. Okay, what's his next fight? Do I go for the, the, the main again? Rather draw? Oh, and he is. Oh, and this time instead of drawing the trigger, he drew two sentinels. 
Hang Chief losing a Sentinel to the damage. It's gotta hurt. It does have two in hand, I believe, or is that one? It looks like it's just one, I think. Yep, just one. Keep now going for the con wrong. Getting that second bar now. Casually checking what's been played. And for those who are not seeing this, Chief has called a Bella Coffee Dragon. A dual axe dragon and a heat nail salamander is attacking different by field. Using dragon over to attack. I see, he's hoping for. He wants to build a cost attack the Vanguard for the counter charge as well as getting off heat nail salamander skill to retire a grade 1. And as you can see from different fights hand, he needs all the boosters he needs. And unfortunately he's losing the Charon. Drew into another Phantom Blast Dragon, that's not what he needs, but he does have a Masquerade. And he is gonna call the Phantom Blaster Dragon. Take down that interceptor. Followed by a type of mass way to, to the vanguard. And he does get a heal trigger. Now he needs a trigger himself to hit with his Phantom Blaster Dragon. Or oh, he's like going for the rear guard. Yes, he is. Not risking it and deciding to go after the West Chief's attacking cards. Attackers? Attacking cards? Mm. Mm. There it is, Dragonic over the end. Yeah, in this situation, I think it would have been better if different fight had that uh, Phantom Blaster Overlord rather than another Sentinel. And not boosting with the air mode, does that mean he has it? Well of course it does. You can see his hand right there. Going for the Persona Blast, re-standing, right on toward the end. And there is the Overlord, but unfortunately it's going into the damage. Does he want to use an air mode is a question now. Nope. Opting not to use the air mode. Is he actually going to consider riding right now? Into the Dark Dictator? Nope. It would have been an okay move actually. He's gonna have a difficult time hitting that uh, Dragon over to the end if he gets a trigger. Getting that uh, bonus power that the Dark Dictator has might actually be a little bit helpful. I'm gonna cho choose not to play any rear guard and just attack and going for a straight attack. She's right now going for the offensive, knowing now that a different fight does not have any rear guards to to intercept for him. Okay, using the to attack 
the item boss button, a pretty smart move. However, never mind. He does get a trigger, so his Bellicost Dragon does have a chance to hit, but he's putting on his Vanguard. Does that mean he does have another copy? Well, it does, because we, again, we can see it from his hand. Mid was Chief going for the second Persona Blast of this match. For this game. In this game, I think he did it last game as well. He got in the second attack, however, if I do, do, does get in that heal trigger. Is he gonna ride now into the, the Dark Dictator? He doesn't have any. He doesn't have that many strong cards to attack with, so he might have to. Unless he's gonna try to stick it out for another turn or two. But he did lose three Phantom Blaster Overlords anyway, so he might be forced to ride into the Dark Dictator. Is going for a rerun? Oh, he's choosing not to ride at all. Ooh, went into a draw trigger. That has several open counter bosses though, so you can try to at least bait out a sentinel. Which he is retiring his great three cards, getting rid of that Bellicose Dragon. I'm calling a sentinel. Fortunately, because it, it was, he does have several several other sentinels in his hand. He's not going to be able to cinch it this turn, but he can beat out a couple of those sentinels for next turn. And different fight does have two sentinels in his hand, so he can go either way right now. Mid West Chief call it, retiring his Dragonic Overlord to call another Tejas. Going for a more defensive play now, there. <laughs> and he's indeed using the Heat Nail Salamander to retire the Charon. Crawls into the heal trigger. But who knows? Different fight does need to get rid of two interceptors as well as another sentinel, so who knows what's gonna happen. Not a very good spot for him but for this fight right now. Vanguard on the attack. Vanguard on the attack. Fast. Get. 
So let's get a draw trigger and a mask word that would have been helpful earlier in this turn. And unfortunately, there is the third Bari from Midwest. Okay, it's not looking good for different fights. Only one, only one sentinel on hand. And is he gonna? Oh, he doesn't have another booster. And two, one sentinel but two attacks. It's very awkward. He does definitely does need a heal trigger, but unfortunately he's all out of those. So it looks like this might be the end of different fights. And the attack and the end going for the last attack. And there it is, six damage. A score of two to one. Midwest Chief proceeds to the semi-final match. It was a great fight on both players' end, but unfortunately in the end. Draconic Overlord was too great against Phantom Blaster Dragon. And that is the last match of our preliminary rounds. Stay tuned tomorrow for the semi final matches featuring RCX Midwest Chief, TZ111, FGC Neo, and Mr. Time Leap.